Through it all I've come to know And in this world I'd lose my soul More than anything in my life I've got to make it If I can run and keep the faith Until I see myself
Killed the church yeah. and become the love and be part of them, did yeah. And died for them. So yeah. we can stand here today and proclaim the same gospel yeah. that he died for. That's Amen. Right. Sure did. Right. Amen. He did. My mercy. What, a, what an apostle we have to go by. All of them, buddy. All of them. All of them went before us. Laid the path and the example for us. Amen. Amen. We come Amen. short, don't we? Yeah. Amen. When I look around and see the good things that he does for me, I know I'm unworthy of them all. For his blessing he freely gives, I owe my life to him. I've got so much to thank him for. So much to thank Him for, so much to praise Him for, you see. He's been so good to me, and when I think of what He's done and where He brought me from, I've got so much to thank. While on this way I need you And I stop and say thank you Lord For all you've done for me One day I'll reach heaven sure Oh please let me kneel once more I've got so much to thank you for Well I've got so much to thank Him for so much, to praise Him for, you see, He's been so good to me. And when I think of what He's done and where He's brought me from, I've got so much to thank Him for. And I've got so much to thank to praise Him for, you see, He's been so good to me. And when I think of what He's done and where He's brought me from, I've got so much to thank Him for. Amen.
It's no time just to give up. Bless him, Lord. Amen. We must go on through. Yeah. Though we face a situation, don't know just what to do. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I know it's just a decision. He's trying to bring us down. But we come too far, not much further to go. Amen. We must never turn around. That's right. Thank you, Lord. I think I'm going to hold on just a little bit longer. Thank you, Jesus. I think I'm going to pray every day. Thank you, Ask the Thank Lord you. to make Thank me you. just a little bit stronger. I'm going to keep on holding his hand. Only promises I'm going to stand. I think I'm going to hold on till I get home. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Time you take just one more step. That's right. Before the bad old one. That's right. Thank you, Lord. So many times we surrender. Just before the victory won, ain't no time to turn back. No, we must fight to the end. That's right. Cause if we fight with him on our side, there's no doubt I know we can win. Hey, That's right. Think I'm gonna hold on just a little bit longer. Think I'm gonna pray every day after the Lord has made me just a little bit stronger. Gonna keep on holding his hand on these promises I'm gonna stand. Think I'm gonna hold on I get home. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna keep on holding his hand on these promises. Think I'm gonna hold on till I get home. That's right, gotta hold on. Think I'm gonna hold on It's a foreign battlefield, and that's where I find the feet. Oh, then that's where I long to be. In the desert without a train, on some old sheep about to sing. I will go, Lord, if you'll just speak to me. Speak the word, Lord, my ears long. Speak the word, Lord, my heart aches to know. Speak the word, Lord, I'll be what you have me to be. Speak the word, Lord, your servant will go. There's been times that I've complained as I've rubbed against the grain. I recall those times took me to my knees. There's one thing I know to do. I'm going to give this praise to you. It was you, Lord, that took my cross to Calvary. Thank you, Lord. Speak the word, Lord, my ears long to hear you. Speak the word, Lord, my heart aches to know. Speak the word, Lord, I'll be what you had me to be. Speak the word, Lord, your servant will go. Speak the word, Lord, my ears long to hear you. Speak the word, Lord, my heart aches to know. Speak the word, Lord. I'll be what you have me to be. 
Speak the word, Lord, your servant will go. Amen. so good to the eye. Right. But I thank God tonight that God's word is what we go by. That's right. Amen. And that's our vision. That's we ain't right. walking by these eyes that the body has, but we're walking by the spirit. That's right. And I was thinking, you know, I was telling, I might have been my wife, I was telling her how uh, a lot of people, you know, they believe a lie so much quicker and easier than they will the truth. Yes, sir. Uh, because the devil knows that's what makes us free is the truth. Amen. Amen. And I believe that's the reason so many people are bound with spirits because they won't receive the truth. Amen. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. That's the right. Amen. We can't deny that. But I was thinking, you know, how, how we got so many preachers today that's preaching, they're preaching everything. Amen. And they're preaching anything. Yeah, they are. Amen. Because people want to hear uh, the easy way out. Amen. They want to hear the, uh, the simple thing. But yeah. you know, I want the truth. Amen. You, Give me the truth. I've always said the truth will do two things to you. It'll make you mad and make you free. Amen. Well, Come on, brother. And I thought Amen. you know how that a lot of these preachers today, Brother J.R., they're preaching, they're preaching three gods. Yeah. It sounds good to the people and they believe it. Uh -huh. They're believing it because it's so easy to believe uh -huh. a lie. Yeah, That's is. what it is. It's a lie. Yeah, it is. But when you tell them that you've got to be baptized in Jesus' name, they get upset. Yeah, they do. They get mad. Yeah. It really gets down on the innermost part yeah. where, where, where a lie can't get. It gets right down in there and it makes them mad. They Amen. want to fight you. They want to tell you you're crazy and you don't know what you're talking about. Amen. And you can tell them that you must be born again of the water and of the Spirit. Yeah. And they'll get mad. They'll get upset. Yes, sir. Because they go to church every time the door is open. They, 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 they read their Bible, but they don't want to tongues, you know, and I Amen. really thank God for the tongues, don't Amen. you? That's yeah. what separates the real church from the false is the yeah. tongues. I really believe that. And I thank God tonight that we have a God that said, I will never change. I believe I might have preached that here the last time I was here, but I thank God tonight that He is still yet the same uh, to a thousand generations. Yeah. He ain't going to change for me. He ain't going to change for you. And he didn't change for my grandpa. No. He didn't change for my grandma. Uh, and he ain't going to change for my grandkids Amen. either. Uh, he is still yet the same because uh, uh, the Bible tells us, and I believe the Word of God, don't you? Uh, uh, Jesus is real, and I know He's got a real people uh, that loves Him because uh, uh, He said, I called them out, didn't you? I'm going. How many believe tonight that you've been called out of the serve God? I 
I've been called out that you uh, uh, I ain't going to help me, I ain't going to cause me uh, but nothing but trouble and a failure. But, but the truth will make us free, church. Uh, if we ever walk down the street of gold, it's going to take the true word of God. Uh, and I believe that's what we need back in the churches tonight, don't you? Uh, it's the truth. There's been so much sugarcoating went on. Uh, and people are still in a relaxed condition. Uh, but now when they do hear the truth, uh, they get upset. And they say, that old preacher, he's a judge of me. Uh, I ain't judging nobody. I'm not no judge. Uh, I just want to speak the word of God. I'm going to tell you, uh, we need to get back to the word of God. Uh, and let God be God again. Uh, we want the book of Acts, but we don't want to live uh, and preach the book of Acts. I'm going to tell you. Uh, and that's what God delivers to the people. And that's what's going to bring it back to people today. Uh, it's the real word of God. I'll uh, uh, be telling you, a fairy tale ain't going to help you. Uh, but what's going to help you uh, is being born again of the water and of the spirit. Uh, going down in his name. Uh, that's where life is. Uh, that's where victory is. Uh, that's where deliverance is. I'm going to tell you tonight that God is still got a people uh, that wants his word. Uh, we may be uh, just a few of us, but guess what? Uh, God is still God tonight uh, for the few that the Holy on. Yeah. The world is crept to the church and it's got people upset with the true word of God. Come on, you can preach on homosexuals and they'll throw you out the door. I'm going to tell you, we need to preach the word of God. Before it's over with, it may cost us our life. Are we going to stand for the word of God? Are we going to let the devil shut us up? I'm going to tell you, they may take this life, but they'll never take my name out of that book of life. What's going to take it out? If I quit preaching the word of God, I will rid my name out of that book of life. If I preach against the word of God. I trust in that. I love you. And I didn't come to tear you down, but I come to lift you up. Because I know what lifted me up, and I know what's going to get me out of here. But the devil's come too late to tell me that there's three ways to heaven. They ain't no three ways to heaven. That's a lie. They ain't but one way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And we serve a good God tonight. That loves us. And we've got a real God on our side. Ain't gonna let the devil destroy us. And God ain't gonna bring us through. Fill us with his spirit. And let the devil have the last say so. My God is real. He's alive. And he's alive in his people, ain't he? We're waiting for God to come down out of heaven to tell us something to do. And when there's a little preacher down there preaching the word of God and we're too lazy to get up and go get what we need. But we're waiting for God to come down uh, uh, speak to us to a tree or something. Uh, he ain't going to do that. He's got a five-fold ministry uh, that he's going to speak through. Uh, that's how we're going to get our word from God. Amen. We want God to come down and speak to us out of a cloud. He ain't going to do that. He's going to speak to us, that little preacher down there in the church. Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a telling the people what you got to do to make it to heaven. They want to tell you everything uh, that your flesh wants to hear uh, and it sounds good and it feels good. Uh, oh, you love it uh, because it's what the flesh wants. Uh, just like you said earlier, we got to deny the flesh uh, and take up our cross and follow him. Uh, I want to die, don't you? How many wants to die? I'm not talking about a spiritual I'm not talking about uh, a dying out to the world. Uh, but this old flesh man's going to die before then we can be made alive in him. Yeah, I'm in this world. My flesh likes to do things too. But I've got to keep him dead every day. Amen. Not just on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights. That's right. I've got to kill him on Monday, Tuesday, and uh, Thursday, and Friday, and yeah. Saturday. I've got to kill him every day. Yeah. Don't you? Uh, because I'm done found that. If I don't keep him down every day, uh, he's going to resurrect somewhere yeah. down the road. Uh, and it's going to cause me uh, to be rebellious against the Word of God. That's right. I love him. Give him a hand clap, yeah. will you? But it's so true. Amen. People will believe a lie before they will the truth. Right. And the truth is the only thing that's going to make them free. We can look at these people with all these spirits and with all these rebellious spirits, and we can honestly say they ain't received the truth because the truth will make us free. Amen. That's what the Bible says. It will make us free.
And the devil can't do nothing about it. He's got to let us go when God says, go. Amen. He's got to go, don't he? Go. Yeah. He's got to go. And I thank God tonight that he spoke to the devil one day and said, let him go. Amen. And I thank God tonight that he made me free because I received the word of God. Amen. But J.R., I was going to church regular. I was. I was going to church regular. I, I thought I loved God, you know. But I, I wasn't in the truth. But listen, when God showed me the truth, listen, on. they ain't the, they ain't a devil. I can stand here before you tonight and say, honestly say, they ain't a devil in hell can persuade me that there's more than one way to heaven. Amen. Never. He'll never persuade Come on. Me. Amen. I'm going to tell you, if, the, if, if, if Jesus said in the word, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, if there's another way besides that, I'm going to miss it. Amen. I'm going to end up Come in hell on. because I'm not changing from the word no, of God. Sir. Or you, I'm Come not going to change. I, and the devil knows that too. That's why he fights us so hard. Amen. But I thank God tonight that yeah. God saved me and placed my foot on the rock, which is the word. And I'm on my way to heaven, and, and the devil's a huffing and a puffing every day. Amen. But I thank God tonight that I still have victory, don't That's you? Right. I fight the devil day and night, but you know what? But tonight I still got victory because I have Jesus. Ain't he good? Give him another hand. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the message that you hear probably numbers of times. God laid this on my heart the other day when I was praying, seeking God for the message. God laid this on my heart, and this is the one I've got to give you tonight. But if you have your Bibles, go with me to Mark chapter 9. I've tried to hurry up and get out of your way. Because I still do. Because I know that we're going to... Well, we got to work tomorrow, some of us does. But anyway, I want to give God his time. That's right. That's right. Amen. God's number one, ain't he? Yes, he is. That job can wait. That job, they can farm him, but God might have another one for him. Amen. Amen. One better, Amen. That's why we got to give God his time. Mark chapter 9, verse 14. When you have it, you can say amen. 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 <laughs> and the Bible reads like this. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them. Scribes questioned with them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed. And runneth to him, salute him. He asked the scribes, What question ye with them? And one of the multitudes answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which had a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he tireth him, he foameth, and gashes with his teeth, and panic, panic away. Panic away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tired him, and he fell on the ground and waddled, gone. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oftentimes it had cast him into the fire, into the water, to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. <coughs> and Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Mm -hmm. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried out and rent him sore, and came out of, of him. And he was one, he was as one dead, 
in, in as much that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was and when he was coming to the house, his disciple asked him privately, What well, why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. You can be seated if you want and give the Lord a hand clap. <laughs> Uh, look at verse 23. This is where I'm going to take my text tonight. And, and the Bible says, Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. <clears throat> and I want to use for a subject tonight on that scripture. I want to use for a subject. You've heard it preached probably a lot of times. But I want to use for a subject. Your faith is the breeding ground of your marriage. Amen. And I believe tonight that we all got to have faith. Don't you? The Amen. Bible said God dealt to every man the measure of faith. But it's up to you and I how we build up the faith. We're going to stand before God and we're going to say, Lord, I didn't have faith, but God's going to say, I dealt to you the measure of faith. I believe God gave the biggest drunk they are out there, the biggest, biggest harlot, the biggest drug addict, and yeah. give them the measure of faith. Yeah, <laughs> I really believe that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But tonight I believe that God is, is a want His people to believe in Him. Amen. We can believe in everything but God. Ain't that uh -huh. something? Yeah. Everything. Oh, we can believe good. in our bank account. We can believe and trust in our job. Uh, yeah. But we can't believe that God is going to help us through the situation. Come on, right. I believe tonight, Brother J.R., that it lies on mine and your faith. What we want from God or what where we go to in God. It is in our faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. And I believe tonight that Jesus has got a church uh, that he is building up their faith, ain't he? Uh, why? Because he's given us an ear uh, to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen. <coughs> Come on, brother. And I got to thank you, you know, on this passage of Scripture, how that, how that the Bible said that God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Yeah. Now, we can't give faith by going down to the store, buying it out of a can. We can't get it by uh, going to some other place and getting it, but we got to give faith in the Word of God. Amen. That's where she comes from, from the Word of God. That's right. Because the Bible says, you know, that God uh, is faithful. He is a, a, he is a God that promised us things. And, and we've got to believe that God is going to do what we read in the Word of God. Amen. That's what we got to believe. You know what? Uh, faith will determine what we get in God. Uh, the devil don't want you to believe in God. He don't want you uh, uh, to trust in the Word of God because he knows uh, if we'll get in the Word of God, uh, that we're going to have faith, can't we? Uh, uh, something's going to come out of the Word that's going to get in our spirit uh, and it's going to take us to the Word of God. Uh, and I believe tonight that, that God's Word will draw us, don't you? Uh, because it's something that the devil uh, didn't give us. It's something that the world uh, didn't give us but it's something to them by uh, the Holy Ghost that will help yeah. us uh, to look at the problem and say uh, greater is he that's in me yeah. than he that's in the world oh. uh, church tonight we'll never please God uh, if we don't have faith uh, God is dealt to us a measure of faith uh, but we've got to believe in the word of God uh, and the Bible one place has said uh, all has not obeyed the gospel uh, he said who is going to believe our report uh, who is going to believe the word of God. It's not the unbelievers, but it's going to be the believers and believe the word of God. But when Jesus come to the grave of Lazarus, he walked along with Mary and Martha and all of them. He walked around alone. He done the miracles. He done signs and wonders. But you know what he done? They did faith creep in and they him down to the word of 
God. I'm going to tell you, we've got to watch what we did in the house of God. Because if we don't let the right thing in, it will cause us to doubt the word of God. That's why that we've got to have a word from God that will help us to look at the devil and say, I'm going to make it anyhow. Just tonight, your faith is what's going to help you to look at the situation and say, I'm going to overcome this. And that will never cause you to believe the word of God. That's right. Amen. He come to that grave and Lazarus was laying in the grave dead. He'd been there for four days and four nights. And the Bible says that he come to it and they were all weeping and crying. And they looked at him and said, Lord, if you had been here, he would not have died. And Jesus said, he's going to rise again. And they said, yeah, we know he's going to rise again in the resurrection. He looked at him and he said, I am the resurrection and I am the lie. I'm going to tell you that when we can get the revelation of the word of God, we're going to give the devil a fire. We're going to give him a run for his money. And the Bible said that Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus and all that he said come forth of Lazarus, didn't he? And when he come forth, he was bam, hand and foot. And the Bible said that he looked at him and said, loose him and let him go. And that wasn't the end of the story. And Jesus, the Bible said that he wept. And Brother J.R., he didn't weep because Lazarus was dead. He wept because of unbelief Amen. that was in the church. I'm going to tell you tonight, unbelief will rob you of your victory. It will rob you of your healing. It will rob you of your joy. Yeah. We've got to keep the faith of God. Amen. Come on, brother. That's right. It's easy to go down to Walmart uh, and buy you a jug of milk with $10 in your pocket. Yeah. I can look at my wife and say, I'm going to go get us some milk. Uh -huh. That ain't faith if I got $10. You know what faith is? When you don't have two nickels to rub together, yeah. you're going to say, I'll be back after a while with a jug of milk. Ain't you? And that's faith. I'm going to tell you. That's why we got to say, devil, I may not get healed, but I'm going to go to now and ask God to heal me. He'll heal us if we believe the word of God. I'm going to tell you tonight, the devil will rob us of everything that God has got for us. But we got to realize one thing. And we've got to have the word of God. Amen. We've got to pray. That's right. He said pray. Not in the flesh. He said pray in the Holy Ghost. Didn't he? Yes, yes. Building up what? Your most holy faith. That's what the Bible says. I know this message has been preached thousands of times before. But somebody is not need no word from God that the devil was trying to overthrow their faith. I want to tell you, but tonight we serve a God that's a real God. He's a true God. He ain't a God that's going to lie. He ain't a God that can lie. My God is real. He's a mighty God. He's an awesome God. There ain't none like him. They've been there and tried to take over but no, he's the one with all power. He said, I have all power in heaven and earth. Oh, why look for another? I ain't looking for another nor you. Jesus is my God. We need to come back for the church. We need to get a hold of the word of God and say, Devil, well, I've got the word of God hid in my heart. Amen. Your faith is the breeding ground for your miracle. Amen. Faith is something that we can't see. Mm -hmm. It ain't faith if we can see it is. That's right. It is not faith. Come on. Faith is something that you can't see. Right. It's something that that, the, that that when we pray that we gotta believe God. Yeah. yeah. The Bible said they that come to Christ must believe, didn't it? Right. Believe. He that believeth, the Bible said that he will. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. I can't just I just can't believe God today. 
then let it go the rest of the week and say, I hope he does. We got to believe him every day. Amen. We got to believe him when we don't see nothing to happen. Amen. We got to say it's still going to happen, ain't it? I've got children. I got a son that's lost. And when I pray for him last week, I didn't stop praying last week. I'm a praying this week. I may not, brother Jr. I may not be able to see everything that he's doing, but I know a God that does. I know a God that table and to reach down and pull him out of the merry clay I'm going to tell you the faith is the breeding ground for our miracle and God is a savior he's not quit saving people what's wrong we'll quit believing in God we'll let the devil rob us of our children it's our children that's lost it's going to be the next generation to lift up the word of God that's why we got to cry that's why we got to weep for it that's why we got to believe God. The Bible said all things is possible to them that believe. And when we pray for it, it seems like that they're so hateful that you can't look at them. Don't stop praying. Don't let them now keep on praying. It's a working. Do you hear me? Keep on praying. Seeking the face of God. And God's a working. And they're never going to try to overthrow our faith. But we got to hold on to God. I've been eating his word. He's giving me something. Brother J.R. down on the inside. That's got me a looking every day for him. It's got me a looking up. I'm not looking down. I may be in the heat of my battle, but I'm not a looking down. I'm a looking up. Our redemption is drawing by. I keep the faith. I hold on to God and believe in the word of God. Amen. Faith. Faith will cause them to bow to his heart. That's right. I believe that with all my heart. Amen. A faith is going to heal the cancer that the doctor said that you had. A faith is going to heal that high blood pressure. Is there anything too hard for God? They ain't nothing too hard for the one I'm talking about now. He's alive. He ain't in the tomb. He's not in the grave. Where's he at, preacher? He's in the heart of his people. And that's why. And we got to speak the word of God like never before. Amen. We've let down. We've stopped preaching the word of God. So many has. And the devil has crept in. Yeah. And he's robbed them of their faith. Come on. We can't please God without faith. That's right. This thing is an action word. Amen. I can tell you I have faith. But he says, show me your works. Uh -huh. Didn't he? Yeah. We got some works with this thing. Amen. My God ain't dead. He's alive. He hears when I pray. Does he answer me right on the spot? Maybe not. He might be a holding back. Like he did Lazarus. He could have spoke to Lazarus another country away. And the word would have went through the forces of hell and went right to the grave and Lazarus would have come out of the grave then but my God he's younger in the heavens ain't he? he's looking down on us what are you saying and the Bible said that his eyes they run through and flow throughout the whole earth beholding the evil and the good he sees every evil thing going on don't try to take it into your hand take it to an altar and begin to pray Lord save that son of mine He lost and the devil got him down and God brought him from the bottom of the pit to where he's at every day I say God and the devil can't have him you can brought him too far I believe God don't you I'm telling you God is alive he's real forevermore I keep on praying I keep on seeking God I keep on believing the report of God because we serve a God that's on our side and brother Wayne he ain't going to let us down. He ain't going to let the devil get the upper hand. This thing ain't over yet. Amen. Keep a praying. That's right. Come on. Keep a seeking God. Keep believing in the word of God. Don't let the devil rob you of your faith. Because if he gets your faith, he's got you. Because that's what's going to get us out of here. Do you believe that tonight? Yeah. Do you believe that faith's going to call you to walk down the street of gold? 
That's what's going to get us out of here, ain't it? Your faith is a breeding ground for a miracle. We all need God to do something in our life. Tell me, every one of us, they ain't nobody in this church tonight that don't need God to do something for them. And we're going to receive it. And we're going to receive it to them by the faith of God's Word. He said that He will give us, didn't He? And the very desires of our heart. If you need something from God, keep on holding on. And keep on believing God. And keep on speaking of the Word of God. And God will give you your desire. I promise you He will. Hold on. Sometimes we may have to walk. Sometimes we may have to stand. I've been standing a lot sometimes, ain't you? But I'm still waiting on God. And them that wait upon God, it shall renew their strength. I thank God tonight for the word that gives me faith. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When Moses brought the children of that leadership, he didn't bring them out because he was Moses. He brought them out because of faith. I tell you what the Bible says. Come on, brother. Faith was what took Moses down there and told Moses to bring them out. Uh-huh. When Moses came through the wilderness and the devil right behind him thought that he had him for sure. Come on. All we got him now, Pharaoh was a saying to the army, and they just see before him. And there's a mountain on each side of it. And we're coming in from the back. And we finally got him now. But thank God Moses believed God. Yeah. What did Moses hear God at? He was in the mount one day praying. That's why we got to have an altar. We don't only need to use the altar at the church. We ought to have one at our home. Yeah. We ought to have one in the barn. Oh. We ought to have them all over the place. Yeah. Because God has got a people that loves him. That's going to pray and believe. In it. Moses believed in the word of God. When God spoke to Moses, I said, Moses, I want you to stretch your rod out over the sea. Moses never did see that before. What did he do? Why, this will look crazy in front of all the people, Lord. Moses didn't question God like we do a lot of times. And God will tell us to do something. And we'll let the devil come in right immediately and take that away from us. But Moses stretched his rod out over the sea. And what happened? The waters departed. Did they not? What caused the waters to depart was the faith of God that put in Moses. Amen. Moses believed God. Church tonight, we got to believe God for what he said. If we don't, we'll never receive nothing. That's right. Amen. 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 Right, Moses stretched that rod out over that sea. And that mighty sea, it wasn't a little creek like out here. Uh-uh. It wasn't even like the guy in Dog River. That ain't nothing. We're talking about a sea here that you can't even see across. That you've been out to places before and you look as far as you can see nothing but water. Looks like it goes out there and turns down over a mountain, do uh-huh. That's the way it was. And God said, Moses, I want you to stretch that rod out over the sea. And Moses stretched it out and God that part of the water. And some said that Moses went across in ankle deep water. That's a lie. And the Bible said that Moses crossed over on dry ground. It was dry as it is out there right now. And it's never been dried from the beginning of time. I'm going to tell you when God does something, He does it right, don't He? He's going to halfway do it. And when God saved me, He cleans me up. He didn't believe what the devil wanted in me. He gave me a clean slate. He gave me a new heart. He gave me a different desire from what I had. He didn't leave the desire in me to go whoring after the world. But no, sir. But He gave me a desire to be in the house of God. And my God God is real. He's alive forevermore. But when they cross that sea on dry ground, and guess what the devil done? Uh, the devil come across to it, didn't he? Yeah. He was right on our trail. He was close to him, Brother J.R. He was right in the midst of the sea when they, the last one got on the bank on the other side. Ain't God good? Amen. God said, now Moses, <coughs> I want you to speak to the people and tell them. Look at them out, children. See them? What you see today, you'll not see no more. Amen. Well, I don't believe half of them knew what God was fixing to do. Right. 
Amen. He began to take the chariot wheels off of it. Come on. He began to take the devil's play parties apart. Come on. He stalled the devil right in the midst of the sea. Yeah. He's going to stop him again right in the midst of our battle. Eh? Yeah. What a God that we serve. When the devil tried to get the three Hebrew children to doubt the word of God, and they said, no, sir, I'm not going to doubt the word of God. Where was he at? He wasn't out children somewhere hoping I can take the vials out of the fire. He was right in the midst, wasn't he? And you know where God is tonight in your storm? He's right in the midst of it. He's waiting on you to get there. And the Bible says that he told Moses to stretch your rod, Moses, back out over the sea. And when Moses done that, the sea come together and took away the enemy. One day, God's going to say, look back. That devil that fought you for years is the end of it. We're going to see him casting into that lake of fire. That's what faith will do. Faith will cause us but to look back at the enemy and see him in the lake of fire. But if we don't have faith, we're going to be right there along with him. Thank God tonight for faith. It's a breeding ground for our miracle. Amen. Come on. we got to keep ourselves conditioned. we got to break up the fallow ground. He's talking about the flesh. we got to keep it broken up. We've got to reap in mercy, don't we? And so in righteousness, we're going to let the devil know that we're going to hold on to God. I'm going to tell you, Paul hadn't seen the sun for many days, but he held on to God, didn't he? He held on to God. Thank God tonight for faith that will help us to look at the situation and say, if you don't move today, I'm going back tomorrow. That's what faith to do, ain't it? Faith is something that we can't see. We've got to believe in the Word of God. If we don't believe in the Word of God, we might as well shut the book and go and live it up, ain't we? I'm going to tell you tonight that God has got a church that's breaking up their fallow ground. We know that God He is the one that's going to bless us. We know that He's the one that's going to help us to conquer the storm. But don't the Bible tell you and I that we're more than conquerors? Did He say over a few things? No, sir. He said, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy. My God, what a God that we have tonight yeah. that's given us power to conquer the storm. But we must believe in the Word of God. we got to keep our ground broken up. Our ground, it's a breeding ground for a miracle. Amen. That's why we've got to keep it broken up. That's right, I want God to move, don't you do yeah. it? Yeah. I want my ground to be broken up. And when God sends the word to see, it's going to find good ground to come up in. I've got to get in there sometimes, and I've got to throw out the sticks. I've got to throw out the rocks. I've got to throw out some things. I've got to uproot some things. And because if I don't, it's going to choke the Word of God out. But we know what the Bible says. We ain't no dummies. We've got to die daily. We've got to decrease that He may increase. What are you saying? We've got to keep the faith of God. We can't let the devil cause us to look at our situation and say, and God ain't going to move in this. And God will move. I don't care what you you're facing. I don't care what kind of battle you up against. If you've got the faith of God, you're going to be more than a conqueror. But we can conquer this thing too by faith. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Through the faith of the Word of God. Come on, brother. Through Amen. the faith. Amen. That's how we're going to beat the devil. That's right. I can't beat him by going out here fighting with him. Brother J.R., no, no, no. I beat him on my knees at an altar. Come on. Amen. That's where we defeat him at. I beat him at the going to the house of God and get me a word from God that I can look at him and say, Devil, I've got one tonight. I've got a word from God tonight that tomorrow I'm going to pray a little bit harder because we don't see God doing things around us. That don't mean God ain't doing nothing. He's still working. Do you hear me tonight? He's still working. Whether you see him or not, he's still working. Don't the Bible say all things work together for 
the good to who? To the world? No. To them that love him. Those that are called according to his purpose. And God call me to be a saint of God. God's going to help me through the trial. He called me to preach his word. He's going to give me a message to preach. He ain't going to fail me. And Brother J.R. Kane, he's not a God that can lie. He's got a word for us. But we got to go what the word is. But we're waiting on it to come to us. And we got to put legs on them prayers. And we got to put faith in that prayer. And say, I'm going to give me a word. And these people tonight, right up and down this creek, that need a word from God. Of a word that the devil have. He's got them sitting at the house with their arms crossed. Now listen to some junk at the cause them to doubt the word of God. And they're feeding their spirit the wrong thing. I'm going to tell you tonight that we better feed our spirit the right thing. And they stuff out there that's poison that will get in your spirit cause you to lose faith. Amen. That's right. There's doctrine out there that's poison. Ain't that what the Bible says? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. They stuff that we let get in our spirit that will cause us to doubt God's word. That's right. It sure will. Yeah, it will, brother. It's happened to me before. Come on. I've Amen. I've let them listen to the wrong thing before. Sure. And I found out a few days later it wasn't right. That's right. And I had to go and pray. I mean I had to pray to oh, you. Yes, and because the devil don't want us to believe the word of God. He don't want us uh, to have ground uh, uh, that our ground will be a breeding ground for a miracle. Uh, he knows that you need something from God. Uh, he knows that sometimes that you need a healing. Uh, sometimes you need uh, uplifting in the in the spirit of God. Uh, we all need to uplift, don't we? Uh, what encourages us? Uh, and when David uh, uh, come into the city uh, and they found that everything was burned and everything that he owned was stolen uh, uh, taken away, uh, what did he do? Uh, he didn't go somewhere and hide and uh, say it's all over. Uh, but the Bible says uh, that David encouraged himself in the Lord. Uh, and what did he do? Uh, he went out in faith, did he? Uh, he said, I'm going to get my stuff. Uh, that's what we need to do tonight. Uh, we need to shake ourselves uh, and say, God, uh, I'm going to encourage myself. Uh, I can't wait till the preacher comes to town uh, to try to encourage me. Uh, I've got to get on my knees. Uh, I've got to hear God in the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'll tell you, you're more than a conqueror. Uh, we're waiting on sun. Uh, a six foot icicle to come through uh, and prophesy to us uh, and tell us to go uh, and get a few things that we lost. Come on, brother. Come on. Oh, that's what we're waiting on. Uh -huh. I'm not waiting on some, somebody to come through. I know you're a man of God and you'll tell me the truth. But I can't wait on you every day to give me an uplift word. Come on. I know if I get around you, nothing you're preaching, you're going to give me a word to uplift me. But what if you're, uh, what if you're in the next town and I need a word? Uh, who am I going to get? I've got to have a relationship with God for myself. I can't have a relationship uh, with you. That's what's wrong with the world today. Uh, the church has got a relationship uh, with the pastor. Uh, and he found out uh, that what they want to hear, uh, that's what he's going to preach. Uh, he'll not listen to the voice of God. But he's looking over the crowd uh, trying to get a message. Uh, he got hit here. Uh, he got hit there. Uh, and what he finds, uh, he says to people, uh, that's what he's going to preach. Uh, but I uh, thank God tonight that uh, God uh, has chosen me out of darkness uh, into his marvelous light. Uh, when I go to pray uh, and get a word from God, uh, I'm going to bring you a word from God. Uh, I didn't come down here uh, to tell you a fairy tale, uh, but I come to tell you you, that your ground is a breeding ground for a miracle. Amen. Your faith will cause you to have a ground for a miracle. Amen. 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 Faith is a breeding ground for a miracle. Yes, it is. Amen. The little girl, the man that come to Jesus, that said, Lord, heal my daughter. He knew that God would do that. He had faith enough to believe that, didn't he? He had to or he never went to him. I believe Jesus is coming back soon, don't you? Amen. That's why that we are in church tonight. We're looking at it. I ain't a boy. I ain't a walking by uh, by some man's religion uh, or some man's doctrine or you. Uh, I'm going to stay with the Word of God uh, because uh, the man has got in this thing and they're corrupted it. Uh, and now they want uh, they want everybody to look at them. Uh, we need to look at Jesus, don't we? Uh, who we're talking about? Uh, I'm talking about the Word of God. Uh, they uh, they can answer your 
problem in the Word. But we got to get in there and find it, don't we? It's in there. I don't care what you're going through. There's something in there for everything that you and I will ever go through. Brother J.R., we serve a God that's never changed and ain't going to change. And He's going to remain the same until He's fist to eat the skies. They'll come back to get us. Hey, I tell you, my God is real. How many believe your God is able to keep you? My God is real. I don't want the devil to know that I serve the great I am. I'm a servant of the rock. I'm a servant of the Alpha and Omega. Of the beginning and the end. In the new, his name is Jesus. Ain't that good to know who he was? When I open up the book in the Old Testament, I can see Jesus in it. When I shudder, I can still see Jesus. He's in the beginning all the way down to Revelation. I thank God for that revelation of you. Come on, man. That's a revelation through faith. That's right. We didn't get this revelation out of a sixth grade book. Amen. I used to have them little books. Brother J. Lawrence school that big red and flip and all them. That ain't where I got my revelation. Come on. I got my revelation through the Holy Ghost in you. Yeah. When Jesus said, I'm the first and I'm the last. That was Jesus said that, wasn't it? Yeah. That was God Almighty manifested in the flesh. They want to believe that. that Jesus said, go and repent. Go and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. That's where I'm going. Jesus the one to say that. They done missed the revelation. Yeah. They need to get to, in the spirit where they can see the revelation. You know what faith to do? Faith would knock the scales off in our eyes. That we can see what he was talking about. Thank God for the revelation that comes to him by the Holy Ghost. What a God that we had church tonight that wants us to be blessed. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Bless him, Lord. Your faith is a breeding ground for a miracle. That's right. That's right. There's sometimes that we don't know how we're going to get to God. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to get to her. But faith will find a way. Yeah, if we'll hold on to it, faith will find a way. Yeah, we, faith will yeah. give us strength to get to it. Yeah. You believe that? Amen. The little woman that had the issue of blood. Yeah. What was that speaking out of her? Come on. That was faith. faith. It wasn't her flesh. Her flesh was a dying a little bit every day. She was getting weaker and weaker and getting sicker and sick, wasn't she? Faith kicked in. Amen. Have you ever had faith to kick in and seem like it just boosted your spirit up and you Amen. say, I'm ready to fight the devil today? Amen. She said, and I know if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'm going to be made whole. Amen. Was that faith a talking? Amen. Sure, that was faith. When she looked at Jesus, was probably going through maybe 100 yards through there, Brother J.R. Yeah. All the people that was there around him, everywhere he went, there was a multitude that followed him. Yeah. Everybody needs something from God. Yeah. That yeah. multitude was oppressing upon him. Probably thousands and thousands of people. And here this little sick woman that was so sick and weak that she couldn't hardly get to him. I believe that she even got on her knees and crawled. I believe that. I believe that she even got down on her hands and knees and was crawling through the crowd. Probably stepping on her fingers and maybe some of them are, are kicking around on her, but she said, I got to get to him. Yeah. You know what that was? Come on. That was faith drawn to the word. Come on. That's what it was. Yes. Her faith was yes. taking her to the word. Yeah. When me and you get into into situations and, and God speaks to us and our faith, what do we do? Come on. I don't jump in the car and go down the road and go shopping or something, do you? No. I get on my knee. My, it's a draw on me to an hour. Come on. Did you, have you ever done that? When, the, when, when, when something's come really hard against you and, and, and you feel something in you that's a draw on you to your altar? Come on. You know what that is? That's your faith. That's your faith of drawing you to God. Come That's on. what was drawing her to God. Her faith was taking her to the Word. And when she touched the Word, guess what? The Bible said that virtue went out of him. Yeah. Went out of him. 
Faith come out of the Word and got into the... Uh, the Word come out of I, I love Him got into faith. Amen. And you know what happened? That drove the sickness out of her body. Amen. It couldn't stay that virtue. Uh, when, the, when, when faith touches Word, uh, uh, something happens. Hey? Yeah. Uh, and when I believe tonight, Brother J.R., uh, that when she touched Him, that she was immediately healed. Uh, and Jesus looked around. He knew uh, that somebody touched Him in a different way. Uh, I'm going to tell you, yeah. there's a way about God. Uh, they ain't, nobody can do it like he can. They ain't a touch that you will ever get from anybody that feels like the Holy Ghost. Feels like the Word. And God given you a word before and you left out of a place with your face so high that you were looking for the devil to box upside the head. But the Bible says that when she touched him, virtue left him and went throughout her body and healed her. It drove out the sickness. And the Bible said that Jesus said, who touched me? Yeah. And the disciples said, Lord, what do you mean who touched you? Look at this multitude. Look at the people. He knew they was a different touch. They was a different touch when Jesus gets a hold of the game. I thank him for that touch, don't you? He said, I felt virtue go out of me. And he looked around, there stood that little woman, a tremble, because she knew that she was healed. She knew that something happened to her body. Thank God tonight for victory. Thank God for healing. Has he lost that power? No. Did Jesus leave out with the disciples? No, sir. He's still yet alive today. He's still yet working around in his people today. I believe that God is still God, don't you? He has lost no power. They ain't no devil can tell me that God has lost the power. He ain't lost the power. You know what's happened? We've lost the faith. Thank God tonight that he is able to keep us. He says some shall depart from what? From the faith, didn't he? And give him what? He does to seduce his spirit and doctrines of devil. And you think that devil ain't after your faith. If he can get your faith, he's got your healing. If he can get your faith, he's got your victory. But I believe tonight that we need to hold on to God. Keep a praying church whether you feel a goosebump or not. I ain't a building upon a goose for you. If I was a beetle in the palm one of them, I would have quit a long time ago. But thank God tonight for the genuine Holy Ghost of God. Amen. It's still you to work in today. Right, it's still That's healing. Right. It's still saving. Do we see so many people say today like we used to back years ago? No. I've fallen away. Amen. The children nowadays you name taken the church and they'll throw a fit. Amen. They'll think that you're crazy. Uh -huh. But you can say, let's load up in the car. Let's go down to the ball game. Let's watch that ball game. Yeah. Well, they'll run over top of you and leave you skin all over to get in that car. Amen. Ain't it funny what the flesh likes? Amen. My flesh, Brother J.R., I still deal with this old fella. He ain't, ain't made a cheat of you. I'm still you to fight the devil. I'm still you to wrestle against my old flesh. But thank God tonight that we serve a God that will help us. If we are walking the faith of God, we're going to have a move of God, ain't we? I'm looking at you for a revival to maybe to break out that, that we can see our houses full again. That we can see the altars full again. I begin to pray God begin to speak to me. We think because because the altar's in the church it's for the sinner man. No sir, it's for the church to get back to. We need that altar built back in our church. For not for the sinner man, but for the church to get back to. Because we're living in the end time and the devil's got everybody's mind twisted up. They're running crazy. They don't know what to do. But thank God for a sound mind. And Paul said, let this mind be in you. And that was all so in Christ Jesus. And thank God tonight for a sound mind. I mean, he's got a sound mind. But tonight, I've got a sound mind in you. I thank my God tonight. And my God is on my side. And we ain't going to lose the battle. Amen. 
Amen. We can't lose with him on our side. That's right. We never be defeated without uh, if we if we got God on our side. Uh, we ain't never going to be defeated. Uh, was David defeated when he went up against Goliath? No. Uh, David went down there on faith uh, because he knew that God was on his side. Uh, when the devil was coming out, uh, give me a man believe on the believe on the real God. Uh, uh, David uh, that upset David. Yeah. I'm telling you, when we hear somebody talk about our God. Well, we ought to get a little bit upset and say, hey, look at here. That's my God you're talking about. I'm going to tell you, but we'll sit there. We'll let them belittle him. We're afraid to open up our mouth. We're afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. We need to quit that stuff and begin to preach the Word of God. Don't look at their faces, but preach to their spirits. I'm going to tell you tonight, God is a coming back, church. We better be in condition. We better have our ground in condition that we can have Whoa. the move of God in our life. That we can have the word of God. That right. we can have the character of him in us. That's right. I don't want to only come to church for the JR and, and, and say I'm a Christian to you. Uh, no, sir. I, when I get up and go to work in the mornings, I want people on my job to see Christ in my life. Amen. Amen. I want the sinner to see him in my life. Amen. I tell you, there's a difference about God's people. Yes, they are. When you can see them now. You know what? The old saying is we stick out like a sore thumb to them, don't we? Because we're different. We ain't like they are. We don't carry on what they carry on. We don't believe in ain't carrying on to tell them dirty jokes, a cussing and a swarping. I ain't just a Sunday Christian, are you? I know some today, a right today that goes to church every day. When they're out children, they're cussing up a storm. I'm going to tell you, and God don't only do things halfway. Amen. When God saved me, He saved my mouth, didn't He? Yeah. He saved me, He saved my ears. He said, Turn away your ears, didn't He? From that stuff. The Bible teaches me that we should all hold it up right before God. We're a chosen generation, we're a royal priesthood, Amen. we're a procurator, ain't we? I'm going to eat just any old thing. If He ain't the Word of God and the true Word of God, I'm I'm not going to let it get in my spirit or you because we got to watch what we eat. Amen. We've got to be careful what we eat. That's right, brother. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes, you know, we go to places and I, I'm funny, Brother J.R., what I eat, and you? Amen. I don't want to just eat any old thing. Come on. Okay. I say, who cooked this and who cooked that? <laughs> You know, when we say the prayer's over, that or take care of, but still, yeah. I want to know who cooked that, don't you? Yes. It may look real good. It may sound good coming out of there. Come on, bro. It may, it may even feel good to the flesh and cause you to jump over a few or two. But is it the real thing? Amen. That's Come what on. I want. I want the real thing, don't you? Amen. I want what it's going to take to get me out of here. Amen. Don't pat me on the back and let me go into that flame of fire. I, I preach the word of God if it cuts me up one side and down the other. I've got to make it, don't you? How many has got to make it tonight? I've got to make it. I don't let up preacher off. I'm preaching the true word of God. If God gives you a message, I stand up there and preach it as hard as you can go. If the devil sits against you, just keep on the preacher. Keep on the plan. Pretty soon, uh, that break's going to get loose and out. Uh, I've been in churches before and preach, uh, and they'll sit there and hold a break on you. Uh, but after a while, uh, you know what them old breaks do when they get hot? Uh, they begin to let up. Uh, they begin to let up. Uh, and guess what? Uh, the devil's got to go then, don't he? Uh, that's what we got to do. Uh, we can't let the devil shut us down. Uh, we got to preach hell hot uh, and heaven sweet. Uh, this thing is about over with. Uh, I ain't going to compromise on the word of God, but not for my wife, but not for my children, but not for my mommy and daddy. Hell is not a real place to be, but heaven is the place to be. Thank God tonight, your ground is a is a breeding ground for a miracle. Faith is a breeding ground for a miracle. We gotta have faith. That's how we're gonna please our God. It's still by the faith of the Word of God. Amen. His Word will give us faith. And we can say, God, I'm going through anyhow. That's faith talking, eh? Yes, it is. Doubt's saying, I look at the situation and say, I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. That's not faith. That's doubt. What's the Bible say? 
The double minded man is unstable in all his ways. He said, Let not this man think that he shall receive anything of God. He can't receive nothing of God. He's like the wave of the sea that's tossed air to and fro. One time over here, another time over there. But I want to be like that old big tree. Don't you just plant it by the water. And when the storms come and the wind blows, that old tree is still standing. I thank God tonight for the people that's still standing for the true word of God. A church tonight, God is coming back. Hold on to God. Believe that your believe that your faith is a breeding ground for your miracle. Amen. How many believe that? Amen. I believe Come that, on, don't you? Yes. I appreciate yes. God. I love you. And I thank you for coming out and being with us tonight. Amen. I really do. I appreciate the opportunity to come Amen. and preach. Sometimes, you know, we let old flesh, old flesh tell us to sit home. Don't we? Uh -huh. I do. He deals with me. Yeah. But I can get up and go and work all day in the hot sun. Uh -huh. And boys yeah. told me that, that yesterday we was working. <coughs> it was hot. And you know how it is sometimes when you get hot, you get aggravated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We all do, don't we? When I was watching this one man, she was hot. I was watching him, he said, I've done had a stroke three times this morning. He said, hot. He said, I don't know how you take it. And when they do that, I kind of laugh and kind of aggravate him a little bit. And I say, well, he's just now getting just right to work. <laughs> They'll look at me and say, you're crazy. <laughs> Wait till I get home, I'm telling mommy on you. <laughs> I said, what if I die out here having a stroke? How are you going to feel? I said, well, load up the two of us, go to the house then. <laughs> I don't want you to die. But I thank God tonight, don't you, for what it means. Amen. I love you, don't you? Amen. Won't you give me my hand clap as we turn back over to the pastor?